Hi guys, so today is a plant haul as promised. So this is the plants that I collect for the past two months. So let's just start it. First plant I got is this Hylia peperomioides. I know I had one before, a similar size than this one, but it did not make it. It died on me last year. First problem was it got mealybugs and then I placed him outside in the veranda and then at that time we got a foster pup aromo and he basically knocked it off to the ground and it was in the ceramic pot and it was just scattered i was dying anyway so yep it's gone i have not repotted since i got it this is still in the soil that came with it when i got it about one and a half month ago so yeah this been happier than my first one obviously since then i've gained a lot more confidence to growing pilea this is a beautiful plant okay let's moving on and the second plant is this beautiful pilodendron mummy so this one is very similar with pilodendron plumania you will see in, in a minute but this is more kind of matte instead of glossy i really love it i think this is a plant that you will love it more when you see it in person and this guy has a new baby coming up did you see yeah it came with these two leaves and i really love it this is the philodendron mame silver cloud there's another one that has less silver marking on the leaves. Yes. Okay. I mean, what else I have to say? This is one of the most beautiful philodendron I have ever seen in my life. And if you see it in person, close up, you will see the slightly pink on the edge of the leaves, just like philodendron gloriosum. The next plant is this beauty philodendron plomaniae. I'm not quite sure which form is this. I don't think this is the narrow form. If you know, please comment down below. But I think it is just the plomaniae regular form because the black face doesn't have a silver marking on the leaf i'm not sure if um loses the silver coloration on the leaf we'll see but this is such a beautiful plant this is the same type of plomania that i just gave away to one of my subscribers and followers for the giveaway event This is the new leaf, how different the color is. This is super dark. This is kind of lime green. Yeah, definitely if you got any new plants, check the back of the leaf because that's where the problem seems like. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna compare with the next one, which is, I believe, is a Philodendron plumania round form okay did you see the difference i mean it's really hard unless okay i will do a close-up looks of the back of the petiole of these two plants and it's quite different okay yeah this is the petiole And this is did you see the different okay it's really hard anyway just a regular form this is like a green here has a pink petal did you see that right pink green so let me show you the round form 
She's quite dusty. Gonna check the back of the leaf as well. Alright, she's safe. And this is has a red or pink coloration on it. You see? Right? So pretty. I mean both of them are pretty. Okay, I don't think it was focus. Let's start again. So this is the Philodendron Plumaniae round foam. Look bigger than, I mean, it's pretty big. But it's been growing since I got it. This was still unfurling when I got it. And yeah, this is the new leaf. It's bigger than the first leaf yeah so once again this is philodendron plumania round form but please correct me if it's incorrect in the comments below this is the next plant alocasia trigina so Yep, this is huge. So yeah, anyway, this is my lovely Trigena. That night, I was randomly going through Instagram and then I found this guy from a seller from, I think it was Banyuwangi, which is East Java. So it's she delivered to me by a travel car. I really love this guy. Next plant is Syndapso Spectro Silver Satin. I have these plants already behind me. This is much bigger leaf and more silver. See, and this guy is like this. Basically the same plants, it's just different maturity and slightly different color. I believe it's because the condition they grow in. But funny thing is, I only expect the synopsis the silver satin, but this is exotica comes along with it. It's fine. I already have exotica as well, but I think because this is in one pot, so I can show you exactly the difference. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. This is Exotica. And these two is a silver satin. Can you spot the difference? Exotica here, and this is oh, this is a first sign. This is quite affordable, so and um, yeah, let's just jump into the next plant. The next plant is a Zemiococca zemifolia. I believe this is a yellow variegated one. 
so I'll show you this is the plan yeah I know this is not much I have already reported it's just beautiful okay gorgeous from the back this guy is in pretty high demand i believe this is a zamiakulka semifolia raven i'm not quite sure if this is a raven or the supernova because the leaves are very very thin do you know the regular from this plant has a slightly uh, thick leaf and i mean i have never seen a raven in real life so we'll see what happened okay this is so dark look at that compared to my white wall in my white t-shirt this is by the way wonder woman this is the ZZ plant or Zamiacoca Zamiofolia, possibly a raven or supernova. Next plant, I have my first air plant that I own. This is the Yonantha Guatemala. I believe there are one that are from Mexico. And this is the Guatemala one. I've done my research, but obviously as always please correct me if i'm wrong and this has such a beautiful purple flower when i got it about i don't know like a week ago this has flower it's already died back now and this is the latest edition so this is three plants in one i got it mounted in this driftwood already I believe this is pretty affordable consider how much it cost like a year ago in Bali yeah such a beautiful plants this is Caladium Thai Beauty this is the second one I have the last one did not make it I honestly kind of neglected and it's in the end my cat's Dig out the soil and yeah it's just rest in peace and this is quite beautiful it's only two leaves not that much but i am patient you have seen this probably in my instagram if you follow me on there Yep, this is the Caladium Thai Beauty. Alright, next plant. I have Philodendron Burley Marks Variegated, which has the yellow, milky yellow variegation on the leaf. It is glossy and so beautiful. Believe it or not, I found it in Bali. It wasn't cheap, but consider I don't have to pay shipping and I know what I got. I, yeah, just take it, I guess. Clearly, I have a problem. I was supposed to be in no buy so I can save to buy a gimbal for filming purposes but here I am I mean I'm sorry yep see it's cute I lost one leaf that has a lot of variegation but it's cool I feel like it's really hard to focus I don't know why Let me change the setting Pelodendron Bullet Marks Parigeta The next plan is the Monstera Acuminata I cannot believe I found this in Bali I almost didn't buy it but he showed me the matter form I was just like 
sold. I actually left the shop with only one plan, which is this guy, the Sanaru. And I went back, I just couldn't pass it. Because this is quite affordable. And yeah, all these leaves are a little bit like a scattered. It happens on the way back when I brought it home. Yeah. So yeah, once again, this is a Monstera Acuminata. So this one is not the Adansonii or the common form. And I'm glad I found it because this is kind of the ones that I wanted among all the Adansonii type of plants. Alright, let's move on. The plants before the last one, the plants behind me, which is Tomato Philom Sanadu, which formerly known as Philodendron Sanadu. Oh, this is the guy. I've already cleaned this and I believe this has no pest. So that's why I simply bring it inside. But for the two weeks or so, I will put it back outside just in case. Yeah, this guy is pretty and the form, I just really, really like it. It can get really big as well. If you see a Summer Rain Ox video on episode of Jamie's Jungle in the UK, and I just like, dang. It's not my wishlist plants or anything, but if I come across with it, I just gotta have it, you know? You see? Oh, quite big. Right? Alright guys, on to the last plant which has a trips on it. I'll show you yesterday on Instagram if you follow me on there. So I'm not gonna bring it inside, but I'll show you a clips of the plant. And the plant is called the Mantaphyllum Sanadu Yellow Compacta Variegated. So it actually doesn't get big over time like this one. It stays small and compact. And turned out it's actually quite rare. I feeling so lucky found it. I totally forgot about this piper that I also have. This is the Piper sylvaticum or mountain long pepper. This piper is native to South China, Bangladesh, India, and Myanmar. It has a silvery light green and heart-shaped leaves and the areas along the veins are dark green. I have never ground this before with Milakais. Alright guys, my battery is actually really dying. I hope you enjoy it. The lighting, it sucks. I probably have to move my setting next time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And leave a comment what video you would like to see me doing next. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye! When it feels like I've been fading to the background Don't leave my room for like a week, don't wanna go out But all these moments keep reminding me of just how Just how you can't have the highs without the letdowns I overcomplicate I Do you like me t-shirt? <laughs>